Look at this creative animation that you can use on your Canva presentations or videos. You can use this animated effect to showcase products, people or anything you would like to present in a fun and playful way. Hi, my name is Diana and on this channel we have a new series of videos in which I show you creative animated slides and this is episode 4. I'm gonna start by creating a presentation document but you can also apply this animation effect to videos so you can also start with a video document if that's what you need to create. I'm gonna go for presentation so I'm gonna click on this icon. This is going to create a new document and will take me directly to the editor. And now we're going to start designing our first slide. I'm going to add a text box to create a title here. So I'm going to press the key T and I'm going to showcase different milkshakes, maybe some juices in these slides. So I'm going to start with the strawberry one. I'm going to bring this text box up and then I'm going to change the font. I'm going to use a font called a grand there. From here you will see different results and you are going to open this menu here and select black. I'm going to activate the uppercase feature and increase the size of this text box. Also something very important in here is to increase the size of your text boxes. We are going to use these sections for the animation. These sections are actually transparent but they will help us out with with the animation. Now you want to bring the images of your products or if you are going to showcase people you are going to start adding these photos to Canva. If you're going to use your own photos you're going to go to uploads and then upload the files from here. And because I don't have a particular set of images for this project I'm going to use the library in Canva. So I'm going to go to elements and search for milkshake and see what do we find in here. Let's go for strawberry milkshake as I want to showcase a strawberry one. I'm gonna go to photos and I'm going to filter these results by cutouts only. Using images with a transparent background is going to add a lot to how this animation is going to look. So that's why I'm gonna use images without a background. And a lot of these images are very available only for Canva Pro users. So if you have a Canva free account and would love to use these images, there is a Canva Pro free trial in the description. I'm gonna go for this image here. I'm gonna click to bring it to my slide and then adjust the size. And before I close this window, I'm gonna go to the three dots and then view collection. As you can see, there is a bunch of different photos in here that we can use on the following slides and I really love to use this feature of view collection because in this case you have exactly the same angle on every single photo and the photographer also used exactly the same glass which is going to add to the overall aesthetic on this animation. Okay let me close this window just for a second because I want to adjust the colors on this slide. So I'm gonna go to background color and scroll down until I see photo colors. I'm gonna use one of these colors for the background and I'm also going to change the color on the text box. So I'm selecting the text box and then text color. Also scrolling down and use a color from the image. And now comes the fun part. You're gonna pay attention because I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks that are going to be essential for this animation. We're gonna make sure first First, that we have these elements aligned to center so these are perfect and now remember that we have increased the size of this text box to the laterals and now we need to add a shape so I'm gonna add a square shape you can do it by pressing the key R and we are going to add transparency to this shape this shape should be transparent and what I'm going to do is to increase the size of this shape 
like this position it right on top of the image and then select the photo and this transparent shape and we're going to group them now the next step is to create a second slide so i'm going to actually duplicate this page and change here the name of the product so let me go back to elements and see which other product i want to showcase next and i think i'm going to go for a mango milkshake so i'm going to add this image and I'm gonna try to make it the same size as the previous one something like this I think it's gonna be okay and the next step would be to remove the strawberry shake so I'm gonna select these elements behind ungroup them and then go to position go to layers and from here we are going to select the image that we want to delete then hit delete now you're going to select these two elements group them and change the title so in this case it will be mango and we're also going to change the colors on this light so i'm gonna use the colors from the photo again so this color in the background and for the title i think we can stay with the same color throughout all the different slides or you can use again another color from the same image and now comes the trick you're going to select these two elements ctrl c or command c if you are using a mac go to page one and paste these elements in here so ctrl v you're going to position this title to the right and you're going to make sure that you don't see any letter from that title you should see only this empty part of the text box and for this image you're going to bring it to the left and then rotate it to minus 90 degrees you're going to move this image below until we don't see it anymore remember that we have grouped a transparent shape so in this case we should only see the transparent shape shape and you can see it by hovering on this section on the page you can also preview these elements by selecting all the elements on the page and you will see them like this now you're going to select the elements from page one you're going to copy them and then paste them on page two i'm trying to align these elements to the elements on page two and now we should see the strawberry text box on the left so we're going to leave only the empty space in the strawberry milkshake we're going to rotate it to 90 degrees and hide it on this section of the page i'm selecting all of the elements on the page and you should see something like this now the next step would be to duplicate the page and in this case i'm going to delete these hidden elements in here I'm gonna add another product so let me go to elements and let's go for a kiwi milkshake I'm going to adjust the size of the glass so it's more or less the same size as the mango one remember to select both elements behind ungroup them and delete the mango shake select both elements in here group them and change the text in the title we're gonna change the color in the background and the title as well if you want and this time we are going to select again these elements copy them and paste them on page two I'm going to ctrl v position them on top of the other elements and now we're going to bring the kiwi text box to the right and the kiwi milkshake we're going to bring it to the left and rotate it to minus 90. i'm going to slide it downwards until it is hidden and remember that we also need to bring these elements and paste them on page three so i'm going to copy them paste them on page three and in this case i need to bring this text box to the left and this juice or this milkshake i'm gonna rotate it to 90 degrees and position it downwards so on page number three we should see the title from page two on the left and the image on the right so let me explain one more time what do we have in here i think it can be a little bit confusing at first when you are creating this animation for the first time but this is what we have so far let me go to position and layers so you can see this better in here we have the following elements we have the visible ones and then on the right hand side on page one we see the title from page 
number two. And down below on the left, we see the image from the mango milkshake or the image from page two. Now, when we move to page number two, we have the following elements. We see the title from page one on the left and we see the image from the strawberry milkshake or the image from page one at the bottom on the right hand side. And then we also see the elements from page three. We see the title on the upper right hand side and the image on the lower left side. What I'm trying to create in here is this rotating animation effect in which we see the images rotating from one side to the other and the title on the opposite side. And now let me add the final touch to these lights. We need to add a transition effect. So hover in between two of the slides and then click add transition. Select match and move and then this is up to you you can leave the duration as it is but I personally like to leave it a little bit longer 1.5 or 2 seconds so you can actually preview this rotation effect and lastly you are going to apply this transition effect between all pages so click on this button and now let me show you how this animation looks let's go to full screen and this is how this presentation looks now what I love about this animation as I already mentioned is that you can see the title moving to the left but the images are rotating to the right and also something else that keeps you entertained is that the color in the background changes please do let me know what do you think about this animation I personally think it's quite easy to create but I would love to know what do you guys think also I would love to know what kind of usage will you give to this animation. I thought of products and also showcasing people, but do you have any other ideas? Here's the previous episode on this series of creative animated slides and remember to check out our membership where we have special perks and exclusive educational content. I think that's it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!